Jin Hyun, it's a pleasure to catch up with you here in the Dell Stand at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and talk about the collaboration you're doing. So Jin, maybe you could start us off. Tell us about the solution Vodafone Business has put together with Dell and Microsoft uh, for a hybrid cloud at the edge. What's the solution look like? Who are your target customers? Yeah, fantastic. So um, at Vodafone, we like to talk about the cloud to edge continuum and thinking about making sure that no matter what the use case for our customers, we have the right cloud and network configuration to keep their data where it needs to be and to secure the solution end to end and make sure that it's performing where it needs to be. So um, with Microsoft and Dell, we have a dedicated edge solution, which is effectively a private cloud that goes on the customer premise, keeps the data local, and um, is also capable of doing really high performance uh, use cases, things like um, autonomous guided vehicles, mixed reality, um, really the things that are going to transform the industrial customers' um, businesses. And Hyun, you know, Dell obviously long history in the hybrid cloud as this has really become the preferred architecture for enterprise compute, but maybe you can give us a little more context on how private wireless comes into play. Yeah, so when we're looking at indeed the use cases that our customers are looking for and are needing, this is where it's not only edge that is driving indeed business outcomes, and then it is requiring secure connectivity, reliable connectivity, and that's how all of these customers are really needing both edge and private mobility. And then, Jin, when you talked through some of your target customers, you know, these are really challenging operational environments that you're going after here. And we often hear about this sort of tension between ITO teams and a little bit of disconnect there. Any thoughts on how you sort of bridge that divide and get everyone moving in the same direction? Yeah, absolutely. So, <clears throat> we're talking about customers, they typically have um, very complicated operational environments with extremely precise SLAs and large um, expectations around the privacy and the data residency of the solution that you're building. Um, in the past, Wi-Fi has not met their needs because it has both indoor and outdoor um, use cases and therefore they've relied on things like Ethernet connectivity in the past. But now we're starting to see things like autonomous forklifts or AGVs or robotics in industrial settings and having a wired solution isn't going to cut it. So um, private 5G becomes a really door opening enabling technology for them. Um, but along with that comes the need to keep the data on premise, to have really low latency and very powerful data processing. So the OT environment designs a solution that works for them under those conditions, but then you have the IT environment, the security officers coming in and saying, wait a second, I'm not really sure I'm comfortable with this island of connectivity and data that I can't see and I can't control. So that's where you need this sort of hybrid connected cloud where you bring the OT environment into the IT environment and secure it end to end along that continuum that I talked about. And Hian, when you take the uh, perspective of the Dell TSB, are you noticing any kind of macro trend lines that kind of cut across geographies, but then specific to certain markets, do you notice anything in particular maybe related to uh, places where spectrum access has been liberalized? I think that this is where, when we're looking at the customers that we're trying to service together with Vodafone, they really are looking for one provider that addresses the whole end-to-end -end solution. When we're talking to customers, they're no longer interested in just the, the underlying technology. They're really looking for business outcomes, and that's exactly what we're trying to do with Vodafone. Let's go back to what are the businesses that the customers are trying to innovate on, address, and, and, and increase efficiency, productivity, and that's how I think that that's where Vodafone and Dell and Microsoft together offer a really nice end-to-end -end solution for those customers. And so, Jin, when you think about Vodafone Business's larger ecosystem development strategy in the context of how many different vertical industries you can address in all of these different markets with their own different sort of nuances, how do you pick your partners? How does this work? Well, <clears throat> 
For one, we look uh, for partners where we have a long-established relationship already. So Dell and Vodafone have been big partners for our own internal IT estate, which means that we can bring some of that expertise in terms of working together and how you connect and secure the cloud out uh, to our partners. And then um, we really try to look at the select verticals that resonate. So if it is about private 5G, we're talking about oil and gas, manufacturing, warehousing and logistics, ports, um, health in some cases, and then doing selective business development to find the key ecosystem players, like the devices that might serve that particular market, and making sure that we've figured out how you integrate those devices to the network, to the cloud, and that you secure it end to end so the customer just needs to worry about the use case and bringing that use case to life. And then finally, we put a, a managed service wrap around it all so that they just worry about the outcome and the service levels and getting the service that they require from their infrastructure rather than having to knit it all together and maintain it themselves. So last question here for both of you. You've given us an excellent snapshot of where you are today, but maybe what are you thinking longer term? What's, uh, what's yet to come, Dion? Yeah, I think, and this is coming to the conversation we just had now, is that we experienced this, this collaboration around co-creation and really taking the customer perspective in mind and designing a solution together, doing the joint go-to-market together, driving demand together, works really well. That's where we do get the power of two or three, including at Microsoft. We have several other areas already identified, and that's where Working backwards from a customer and trying to see how we grow indeed our customer base together is what seems to be our idea for the future. On let's expand on that. Whether that is Edge, MPN, connected laptops, I think that there's a whole lot of possibilities where we can collaborate together. Yeah, I think we've, we've spent a lot of time talking about Edge, but we also work together in the private cloud space. Exactly. And that goes back to whether the customer is looking for a solution in the cloud, a solution that's running out of the network as a service, a solution on their premise, or a solution on their end device. We can come together and say, look, we've got the right hardware, we've got the right connectivity, we've got the right solutions, we've got the right security, and we've got the right service wrap by bringing our two companies together. Excellent, well I really appreciate you both taking your time to share your perspective with me and with our audience today. Thank you.